Okay, um, Reverend Sir, and uh, we say Upasaka, Upasika, and you know, our, you know, dear friends. Anyway, good evening. Huh? Um, <laughs> let me see. You know, I have to be really uh, give this talk uh, almost like spontaneously. So uh, I didn't even have time to think what I'm going to talk. But I think maybe I will just uh, address something uh, to begin is about uh, why we uh, why we do meditation. Okay, I mean, and then what uh, the meditation is for, and and so on. I guess. Okay. I like to know that um, why you come here to do meditation. <laughs> You know, I remember before you may, one or two people might be, you know, uh, give me uh, your idea. Uh, let me just, uh, you know, encourage to speak. Maybe I'll say a few things first. You know, before um, I remember is uh, when I start to learn, uh, at least in uh, my background, when I started to, uh, when I started in interested in, uh, when I started in, anyway. Forget about grammar. So generally, mean when I'm started in, interested in uh, in Buddhism, uh, I wasn't really, you know, understand anything about meditation. So, so it's uh, but it's certainly um, to me is a really wonderful thing that to know, uh, you know, and I'm sure of you here are interested in meditation. So, and we have a lot of uh, different ideas before I really understand what meditation is about. And uh, we have a lot of, uh, generally, at first, my whole brand about meditation is all negative, okay? And then, uh, somehow, even it's negative, but somehow it's strangely, maybe in, uh, in my, the, my understanding, still you admire people can do meditation. We don't know why, so. Um, anyway, so why you want to do meditation? I do. Anyone give me a few words, encourage me to speak, help me to speak out? Yes, please. Oh. Huh? Oh, a kind of wow. Like a self evaluation? Like a self evaluation? Oh, well, it's very good. So, actually, that's the difficult part for people doing meditation, to continue to do meditation. Because sometimes when they start to do meditate uh, a little time, they might be feel nice, but later on they feel a little discouraged because to maintain a meditation is not easy. And actually, there's uh, something behind the mind. Uh, it's uh, because the self evaluation becomes so discouraging. Uh, you know. uh, do you know what I mean? Do I, do I have to elaborate a little further? <laughs> oh, it, it actually means that uh, we always, uh, I know this is how we live, you know, when we are trying to, uh, we always uh, 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 look for the best, you know, for ourselves, right? And then when, when this process going on sometime, the, if, this is how actually people ask me, what is the difficult uh, part to do meditation? It's just what you answer. I would say because of the self-evaluation comes, and that's a difficult part for people to keep on doing their meditation. Because then uh, the fantasy part in the mind, I, I, would, I shouldn't use the term fantasy, I mean at least something you might be mistakenly or not necessarily true to think who you are, and then it appear as, then you see clearly, oh, actually I am not that, Beautiful or wonderful as I think I am, it's become very discouraging. You know, uh, no, nobody faced this problem. I face this problem. You know. Okay, let me just talk about myself then. So I face this problem. Actually, sometimes it comes to a point that you feel so disappointed to uh, not you. I I feel so disappointed with myself that I can even hide myself and cry. Okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, anyway, 
don't talk too much. I don't want to be crying here now. <laughs> I don't want to cry now. So anyway, so that's, uh, that is actually, after that, the crying, if people, if they don't really understand uh, how that can be benefit for your life or even your future life, so people can drop that meditation tool. Okay. Uh, um, anyway, that's a, that's a good, good, good one. So, uh, so what about the other? Why you want to come to do meditation? Yes. Okay, to develop concentration. Uh, very standard answer, <laughs> but that's a good one too. Any other? I'm going to explain that because uh, uh, let's develop concentration. Yeah. Uh, to be able to see the subtleness. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What do you say? End of suffering and be happy. End of suffering and be happy. Liberation, and liberation and freedom. <laughs> t t didn't you hide yourself and cry because that's what you hope for and sometimes... Many times it feels great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yes. Uh, Familiar with your own mind, okay. Uh. To develop wisdom? Mm -hmm. Looks like everybody is more brilliant than I do. <laughs> 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 it is. I'm, there's no de de not degrading language here, okay. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, the psychoanalytical? Okay, kind of like uh, understand the mind, uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, you want to say something? Yes. Mm. Change your heart. You mean transplant? <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Improve? Uh, sorry, I didn't get it. Improve what? Uh, oh, humanity. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah. Wow, so many. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, to realize you are not your mind. <laughs> then who you are? <laughs> <laughs> then who you are? Who yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. What? Well, the other, you want to say something? Oh, to be free from the cycle of birth, rebirth. Mm -hmm. Looks like you must uh, learn a lot about Buddhism. Yeah, and? What, understanding? So, understanding. Okay, just uh, understanding. Okay, all right. Hmm? To be happy. Oh. I think that this is my this might explain why the, most of you can do very well meditation, because you certainly kind of like know what you want. Um, if you ask me, uh, many many years ago, uh, even though I became a monk, and then I knew that one to, one thing to become a monk is I want to know what is meditation is about. So I don't want to talk about my story again, but you know. But actually, I still don't know why I want to do meditation. There was an earlier time. And uh, my idea of meditation in those days was just thinking, you know, uh, it's good for me. That's it. But never, uh, never really have big, you know, thinking I need to what. And I knew that I want to, uh, somebody said, like, you know, attend uh, uh, like a kind of like nirvana, I saw. I'm not sure whether I really want it, but at least that's what I was supposed to. And then, uh, and also, and I also heard a lot of things from the teachers or from friends, and the meditation have this kind of power and that kind of power. And I was really curious about those things. Actually, firstly, I was curious not that I want, not, I'm, not, I'm not really thinking, I wasn't really thinking I want to, I want to have them, but I was just thinking that uh, I'm not sure whether it was true. Hang on. 
So in the very earliest stage, uh, I was very lucky, I have to say, that I have teachers to teach me, but my mind was not really like you, I'm very mature. So, and uh, that's a, uh, I don't know why, but I know why, I'm not going to explain that. I don't want to tell so many bad things about myself. Anyway, so it's, uh, uh, so it, it comes up uh, like, you know, and sometimes, you know, there, there's a lot of good chance going on, and you could improve better, and so on, but you just lost, uh, you know, this kind of chance. If you ask me, one thing I would blame, I mean, you know, we like to blame other, not myself, right? If it's one thing I like to blame, <coughs> I will blame of the, the way how I learned Buddhism in earlier time. <clears throat> because the way when I learned Buddhism in earlier time, I never understand what is meditation. And then there's no popular discussion. And then certainly if you start to talk something about your own experience, maybe beyond people understanding, also people would like to label you as like, you gone mad, right? So, and I mean, maybe for some of the Asian or Chinese maybe can relate a little bit, but otherwise I think it's very hard for uh, not, 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 not a Chinese background, I guess. <clears throat> anyway, so th th that's... Uh, <clears throat> all right, now we're back to the, the thinking about the meditation. Yeah. Um, I, I would say that uh, there's no definite answer about... Um, um, to me, there's no definite answer uh, uh, how to say, what is the purpose of meditation? Because everyone is different, right? But I can start to uh, maybe discuss this about this, uh, what is the uh, word mean by meditation, okay? You know, the, we, and in Buddhism, uh, not totally it could be like that, but in Buddhism, uh, this is how I take it, uh, what the role of meditation uh, in Buddhism. Uh, especially when you, uh, uh, what is the role of the meditation? Actually, what's the role of the so-called the bhavana, the meditation in Buddhism? Um, the word, you know, meditation in English, uh, in, if you translate, if, if we put it back to the either Sanskrit or Pali, generally we use a term called the bhavana, right? It means uh, Sometimes uh, the word bhavana can be understood uh, literally as uh, you make something, uh, you make something into the existence, something like that. You know, we make something become real. Okay, that's uh, bhavana. But of course, uh, that is just a, like etymological way of translation. But if you, you know, just the normal uh, in the context to understand the word bhavana. It refers to, you know, mean practice. Okay. And Buddhism, uh, the term practice have a, a very significant way, uh, I think, than the people think. <clears throat> you know, in, in English, when you say, I practice something, you, some people just take it like, you know, okay, you practice this. I practice uh, driving, I practice uh, computer game, I practice uh, anything, you know. It's just people take it almost like a hobby, and then you're doing, and then, but you want to be good, maybe, then you just keep on practice. But in, uh, in the Buddhism, uh, my understanding is that, uh, because that's certainly mentioned in the Buddhist text, saying that you know, someone, if they want to uh, uh, have the good merit, you know, you know, you know the, the meaning merit, in Chinese called fu bao or gong de, depends on you know, context, how you translate. So the banya, what we call, if you want to gain the merit, there were three things you need to cultivate or to, to develop, right? And one thing is that so certainly the first one, the popular one, that is called the generosity. So I'm sure everybody knows this concept. Like, you know, when you be a generous and, and then you it, either you donate your time or donate your money, your, you know, and to help something. You know, of course, in Buddhist tradition, always uh, if you can help the monastery, and or you know, or you help to build a Buddha stupa, and those things will be one of the really great merits you can. And we need that merit. This is a kind of like in the Buddhist concept. Uh, the merit is important in, in the sense of when you had a marriage, so a lot of thing, uh, kind of like you have laid down a kind of a good foundation for your uh, future. Okay, 
for your future. So the generosity certainly is one of the merits that will enhance you become rich in the future. This is a very different concept from other religion. I don't want to talk about other religion now, but if though for those who are familiar with other religion, in Buddhism it's very interesting. Uh, even though sometimes, unfortunately, Buddhism been uh, uh, been kind of like mistaken in a different way. For example, like you know, uh, somehow people like to think about Buddhism as a poor, you know, uh, you know, it, because there's a kind of common common mis I won't say misunderstanding. There's a not common sense. What do you call that word? There's a there's a a, a kind of a general idea. People thinking. Yeah, I would say, yeah, maybe misconception. Like, people have a general idea of thinking that, you know, uh, all the religion almost encouraging you to be poor. Kind of like that. There's a tendency. When you're rich, you are sin, you know what I'm saying? There's a kind of in, in, uh, intonation, uh, you know, there's a carry away such a kind of meanings there, right? Uh, but Buddhism is not. Uh, but unfortunately, still don't know why being carried in such a way. Buddhism still think that if you can be born as a good family, rich family, powerful family, how can you be born in a good family, rich family, powerful family? It's because your past life, okay, whatever you believe or not, but your past life do a good generosity especially. Okay? So that's why you can be born in a very rich family. Maybe you, you may abuse it, that's your problem. That's your another. You create a new karma, which makes you in a worse state or bad in the future. So it's very different. Uh, in other words, uh, kind of like Buddhism. Uh, I mean, re regard kind of like in general. So yeah. Anyway, generosity is a kind of marriage. That's what I want to say. Is that when you have a good marriage, I mean you can, you will be because of generosity you're doing in the past so that will be helping you to be born in a good place okay and to be a, a much a, a, a rich person or uh, so but in buddhism the rich doesn't have a equation to sin or bad person okay right and then the second is that uh, the marriage that you can cultivate uh, that may, something that you can cultivate in order to gain marriage is by Practicing the virtue, okay. So you be a virtue person, of course, and in general, the karm, karmical understanding when you cultivate this virtue. So, I mean, at least in, in appearance, you look nice, okay. That is uh, one of the uh, the first thing maybe uh, come in our mind. The second is that when you cultivate this virtue, and then uh, of course that is it serves as a very important uh, foundation. Uh, for your practice, okay, and that is what we are going to talk about. So called the practice now called cultivation or part of meditation, the bhavana. Okay, but sometimes we have a simile like you know when you cultivate this kind, uh, when you can cultivate the virtue, it's just like you have a, 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 when you have a garden, right? And then the virtue is helping you uh, that you put this, you put a lot of fans on the gardens to avoid anything going to eat those little, like you plant some plant, you plant something, right? Eat this, uh, like, uh, da, da, da. anyway, what, the meow or something, yeah? Shoot, like a shoot, like anyway, just, just in, in the new leaf or something like that, okay? So because they're so tender, and then that is what the, and there's a simile like that. So that's a, a, the virtue. And of course, we also understand that um, Buddhism, when you cultivate a virtue, uh, even though you don't do meditation, and you cultivate virtue, it helps you uh, to build up, a, of course, you become a virtuous person, and the virtuous person will serve as a, uh, like a, a, a strong karmical force uh, you know, uh, for someone to be reborn into a good place. You know. If it, from, from the religious perspective, God is where a person is going to go when they die. Of course, it's a very important issue. So from Buddhist perspective, uh, the virtue itself will help you to be reborn to heaven, so you will be reborn to back here, and then you become a much uh, beautiful person, and, and so and so. And then maybe have a good family. Uh, but if your generosity didn't do that much, you might not be very rich, but anyway, you still, you know, 
uh, have a nice family. Okay, <clears throat> that's because of virtue. So in other words, if you, <laughs> this is my <laughs> my thinking. It's not necessarily that's what they said in the Buddhist text at all. In other words, you can say this. Uh, you can think it this way. So when you cultivate this uh, uh, virtue, when you cultivate uh, what you call this uh, generosity, so you can be beautiful and very virtue and by bond you are very uh, virtuous person, very you know, nice person and also rich person, okay? if you have both. Uh, okay, what about the third one? So third one actually, this is what uh, people uh, normally take meditation, like the word bhavana as practice, right? But in Buddhism, actually, the practice itself, it's also the way to gain merit, okay? I mean, I don't know whether, uh, uh, even in Chinese, actually, or in, in practice, say in Chinese, you would say, xiu xin ye shi ge fu bao. So, it sounds a little strange. It like, not strange, you know the word, but you don't know what does it mean. But if you say, you know what that does mean, right? It's very clear in your mind. It means when you do the generosity, it's a merit. So you, you kind of know what it does mean. But when you say uh, being a virtual person is a merit, uh, no, when you practice a virtue, or you might somehow get the meaning. It means that uh, when you uh, observe these precepts, or that's what the literal meaning, that is a uh, uh, or observe the virtues, so it's a merit. Maybe you kind of, yeah, well, okay, but there's still, you know. But then when you say practice is a, mer is a merit, it's uh, not very commonly been introduced. I'm talking not very commonly in, been introduced even in the, Buddhist, in, the, in the Buddhist circle. Am I right? But you can, you can disapprove of me. Do you hear people telling you practice is a full bow? You do? Wow. So I'm the stupid one. So, and I would so turn this way, not that way. Three people knock the head. Do you hear, <laughs> do you hear that uh, the word that practice is uh, marriage? Oh, no, good that I see somebody knock the head. <laughs> Shake the head. Okay, maybe the best to ask this. How many of you, you hear this word? I didn't Chinese, just xiu xin shi fu bao. And raise your hand. Here? Okay, I, it looks like I win because it still look, looks like. Uh, <laughs> <Mental practice>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, but uh, to be honest, I, I myself, by at least uh, the way that I learned Buddhism in earlier time, I never heard about that. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, so. But th what does it mean to me? Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean something to you, but it, it, what does it mean to me? It's uh, when I understand actually practice is a merit. Like, you know, I try to do generosity uh, because I, out of whatever reasons, I just want my life to be good, right? And I try to practice my virtue at the, from the beginning. I don't necessarily understand what the virtue would, would give me. But I just know if I practice a virtue, my next life will be nice. I know. Okay. Okay. You don't have this idea? Of course, now I don't, I'm not thinking the same way, but that's what, uh, you know, how, it's kind of like how the idea will motivate you to, you know, be a good person, kind of like that. And that's how, it, that's a Buddhist system. It's not like, you know, uh, because you believe in, of course, in the pure land school, maybe a little change a little bit. but. Say that in the general Buddhism. So, yeah, but the third one, the practice, the, uh, I mean, the word, uh, the word practice, and it's a merit, it's, uh, I never know it, actually, in earlier time. So when I came to know it, I started to find, actually, this is a very important concept, okay? Of course, the first thing we need to define, uh, what does a practice mean, okay? So, xiuxin, what does a xiuxin mean? The word bhavana, what does it mean, okay? And uh, I, I'm not to say that that's the only answer, but, but that's certainly been agreed in a general term. The word bhavana, it means that you need to cultivate the meditation, of course. And this kind of three type of the three thing that you need to cultivate to get married, the bhavana one is specially 
uh, because I'm also a lot of time in contact with the Chinese sources, especially in the Sarawastiwada school, or in any way, one of the Buddhist school, are uh, highly saying that uh, in that the Bhavana, but actually even in Sutta say the same, is the practice of force of life abiding. Okay. Uh, but, but of course, the Bhavana is not exclusively exclusively for the force of life abiding, but that's the one I highly recommend it. Okay. In other words, from Buddhism, it means that we have to be able to do generosity, to, to be a better person, even for now and for future, to, do, uh, to practice, uh, to do this, uh, what we call this, uh, the practice of virtue, or observe the virtue, uh, be a virtue person. And also, you need to do meditation. Don't you think it's a revolutionary idea? Nobody reacts. You don't think so? No, imagine if I learn Buddhism, people tell me that I would be thinking differently. No, no, in American Buddhism, you have to find it. That's the main goal. But at least they wouldn't tell you because the practice would get married, right? Don't think so much of marriage, but in terms of. No, I'm saying the marriage. And, and you know, we care about marriage. In America, we think more in Nirvana and freedom. Yeah. Well, better relationship. It is. <clears throat> but you know, in the general people, they like they come to the temple or they, they don't have time. <laughs> They want to do something, and they want to cultivate a merit, right? They want to zan yang fu bao ma in Chinese, right? So, but of course, it's very clear for us that when you want to get married, and then what you do is that to do the generosity, right? And then all you be a, a nice person. Am, am I right? But how many people would think that then you need to do meditation? I mean, the meditation in terms of length. The meditation link it to as a merit. So it means you practice meditation by practicing the meditation so you get married. So, uh, right. I mean, I hope that you know what I'm, 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 I'm uh, trying to say. Okay. So, and that's uh, if we know this thing, and then we, that means actually when we are here, sitting or either walking, or whatever, either sleeping or uh, eating or even the light reclining off. But if you're still doing meditation, you are cultivating merit. Nobody feel excited anyway. <laughs> so, because it's not Ibana, not Ivana, not liberation. Merit is what I use for, okay. I, you know, I want to say this because in a lot of the, the uh, at least the country I lived before, and that's what I've seen, a lot of people actually are uh, in the support of Buddhism, right? They are really interested in support of Buddhism, like you know, giving the dana, I mean, the offering uh, food to the monks and nuns, right? And then uh, or helping them build the monastery, helping them run the, the monastery financially or even spend the time to help the monastery, right? And then also, actually, of course, then they also know to be a good person. It's the praise worth by everybody, and they try to be a good person. Uh, and that's why they learn from the monastery. But how many, I mean, it, at least it doesn't occur to me that people, it might, I'm sure there are people, but I'm saying that it's not very common that occur to me that people realize that being that also actually one of the way or, or, or Put one more way to cultivate the merit is because you do meditation. Do, do you find it different? No? You, do you think I'm talking something nonsense or what? Yes? Yeah. Oh, well. well Yeah. Hmm. No. Well, that is uh, now. I I think since that I maybe need to say in tradition. When we say the practice, uh, we divide it into uh, the practice for the sake of the uh, mundane, or you could say mundane welfare, and then the practice for the sake of the supra mundane welfare. So, uh, so. Or you could, if there's a kind of layout, you could lay out like, you know, 
there's a generosity and there's about the virtue and sometimes we have the term called these two as the white karma means you practice the white karma right and then we divide the meditation uh, so called the practice into the practice for the mundane purpose and practice for the purpose of the super mundane so and then certainly in the general we way the way we divide that as a kind of like you're still in the white karma but then actually we more emphasize on that you develop your wisdom okay all right or oh, that's how uh, you can put it this way like that you practice the virtue you practice the samadhi and then you practice the generosity and then you also practice the so-called wisdom so okay okay I still need to stress this point again uh, and this actually is, to me is very encouraging because uh, it's almost like every time when I just practice my meditation I'm not just because I cultivate something good for my mind and also cultivate something maybe even maybe help me to gain liberation but actually I'm also building up the merit I still don't see you excited about it but I find very exciting yeah. No, but that's, a, that's another way. I mean, when I'm practicing it, I'm getting a merit. Mm. I mean, You share this merit. So merit is not about a selfish thing, but merit is about sharing, right? So if we have to define merit in some ways, it's, you cannot just do merit for yourself because that's a very selfish and uh, wrong view, I think. When we develop wisdom, I think, and develop merit, I think in terms of benefiting not just for myself, but my all sentient beings, right? That's the whole practice of Buddhism. That's my understanding. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but that doesn't also explain that what is merit. You could say that merit is the, it's the, uh, so you can share your merit or what. But actually, sharing merit is a is a controversial topic. Then the merit topic in Buddhism itself. So, merit in Buddhism itself has been understand uh, as a kind of. Uh, whatever, an act or what, you know, an act or, of course, the, the act with your good will, right? So that will be, become a kind, almost like a, a, a seed, or a, but then a power, a kind of seed, something that you plant it in. So, and then so when the condition is given, and then you be, because you plant a good seed there, and then that when the condition is given, so you will get a good result. And of course, the word merit has to be always good, okay? And, uh, but then w when you have this kind of uh, good thing, then whether you want to share or not, by sharing itself is also a way, uh, sometimes we explain it's like also, you are, you are planting a good seed again. <coughs> it means, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, you know. Uh, anyway, so what I want to say is that, um, like people, I don't know what about you. Let's say sometimes when I go to a temple, right, and then uh, I saw the temple need some money, say, or I think they need something, like uh, the, the ropes or whatever, or what they need something, and I would just donate my money, right? Now maybe in Mahayana also, if you talk Mahayana, it's so difficult to talk, and they have say when you donate, you have to be three kind of emptiness to be there. And I'm not talking this thing now. Uh, it's too, 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 too far away from our topic. I want to say that when we do this act, right, to donate the money, um, I, in America maybe, uh, uh, I don't know whether they have this idea, but for Asia, or I would say like a Chinese or some other Vietnamese people, uh, you could see they're very generous to the temple. Why they become very generous to the temple? Or 
they might not necessarily generous to something, <laughs> right? They can be generous to, like in any, any religion, I'm sure the same. They can be some generous to the church, but they are not generous to something else, right? But um, so it's because this idea, the idea of the merit they can gain from by their donating the money or to be generous to the, like the temple, say, or to the church, right? So even Chinese, even though I don't know how church teach about this concept, but still this concept, you know, in the Chinese culture already. So whatever religion they become, I heard, I'm not sure it's 100% true, they are very generous. They can donate a huge thing. Because there's an idea there, which is actually originally come, come from, at least Buddhism for sure. It's because uh, when you be generous, you know, you, you not just good now, you, you know, okay, now maybe people know I'm donating money, I, I lost some money or what, and I don't lose my face. Not only that, it's just a concept that your next life will be rich. And even some people think, like, that's the reason why people, even when they come to the temple, and then they just, uh, you know, like, yeah, we have the, where's the donation box? We hide the donation box? <laughs> oh, I need to put the donation box up, let you have more merit, okay? <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> like, where is it? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, left and right. I don't even know. Then you know that never, <laughs> never come even generosity in this house. Okay. Anyway, so that's uh, that's uh, uh, it's also you know we usually have a joke like you know people they just uh, come to worship the Avalokiteshvara you know and then uh, sometimes yeah they may be asking for something else to help my health or my you know other people's uh, my children or whatever I have a good life whatever. But sometimes they want to have more money, so and then they would put ten dollars. Let's say, uh, of course, in their hope is that this ten dollar will let them to win the lottery or whatever to a billion dollars, right? I mean, the, how these ideas come because of the merit. It's like you know, I'm doing some generosity, especially in the temple, and then I will gain more merit. Okay, you you, you get it now. But I I also have this understanding, even though I learn not to attach it. Okay, like. Certainly, I don't. I will forget when I donate after some time, but I still very appreciate when I donate the money. Like if there's a scholarship, with there's a one, especially if they have. To me, at least there's something associated with the Buddhism or temple. What I like to donate the money. Sometimes when people go back to India, even in those when I was living in England, in, in 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 England, so when the friend, the Indian friend, they go back to India, I say. I give the money, I say, because I have a preconception, unfortunately, if you don't like me to think so, that Indian is very poor, you know. So, and uh, this money will be much more helpful. And but why I want to do that? You know, I can do other ways, right? I put in the, uh, to, uh, to buy the stock and $100 done to me. So, you know what I mean? I can do different things, but no, it's because I believe that will be, gen it's a merit. And that will be, I don't care how it give it to me, but. I know it's a merit. It was good for me, so I do it. You know. All right. Now and give my life next life be rich, at least not poor, not like nothing to eat. You know, I don't want to face that problem. Okay. Now the meditation. That's what the Buddha taught is that actually is the way to cultivate merit. If this kind of idea really, really, I think is been correctly or nicely introduced. I don't think that our meditation will be these few people. You could put in a big poster and say, great time for your merit, meditation. Wow, then you boom, okay. Why haven't you done that? Like this? <laughs> That's a good thing, I never thought about it actually. <laughs> and then I might be saying, no, I think maybe that another good thing is you write, okay, one hour, equal to your how many life? <laughs> okay, so now I like to share this because uh, I myself actually, one of the way that in the past, I do feel lazy to do meditation. Also, it's, I, I have to face it. Uh, you know, it's, why, why, there's so many distractions. Why I would just sit and even I feel nice, but I still don't want it. Don't you have this experience? Again, everybody disagree with me. 
Don't ask again. Okay. So and uh, but then you know what? I just say for the sake of conscious, and then to when I know, no, I am doing something like even better. Then I offer the money to people, and even better than I just you know like everybody know be a good person. So next time I will be good. Even better than that, I actually develop merit. Anyway, <laughs> nobody really care about. I just don't know why. Everybody attend me ban already. So we should shift the seat. Okay, I will listen to you. <laughs> Tell me how to attend Ibana. <laughs> Maybe. So okay, of course, when you want to attend Ibana, merit is not. Yeah, you you still have must have the foundation. But anyway, okay. Now and. Uh, and among these, uh, the Buddha say, uh, all of these kind of, the, among these cultivation, which is mundane, okay, not super mundane. You know the definition of mundane. I mean, it's not something to do. Cut off your reincarnation directly, like four noble truths, right? Or what we call a noble eightfold path, which is mundane. But this kind of uh, practice, so you cultivate a lot of great merit. So, okay, yes. Mm. Mm. And that kind of makes, well, I practiced that for years, and it kind of makes me selfish in a way. And mm. Mm. with um, the four sublime abidings, it's more in the spirit, I think, mm. of what Buddha intended, in that it's benefiting others more directly and it to me it from uh i think the last time i was here i mm. mentioned to you it seems like i was able to apply what i've learned that time directly in my life as opposed to like you were saying also um when we uh you know when we experience a situation that's kind of stressful it's not like we're going to sit there and say oh let me concentrate on my breathing mm. but when you practice uh metta it's more applicable, and therefore, you, you see the merits or the meritorious deeds in it. Do you yeah. think that? Maybe I think maybe that's also true because uh, that's uh, might be that's the reason why the Buddha mentioned also that uh, when you practice a false lie abiding, you know, and then you develop a great merit. Of course, this term is also used in uh, when you practice anapanasati, but then. Uh, but then so certainly, I, if, if I'm not wrong in the certain commentary, and then start to define what does the Buddha mean here, I say because uh, when you uh, cultivate this loving kindness meditation, I mean the force of life by the meditation, you started actually to make connection to the people like you just mentioned. So, and this is why it's uh, one of the great ways to cultivate marriage. So, and then also then, of course, uh, in a certain sutta, which is uh, very popular, and uh, you do have five this kind of sutta, not only in Chinese and Pali, but even in some of the uh, like uh, manu- kind of like re- uh, like uh, manuscripts. Okay, it's uh, also it, then you can see in the past, long past, uh, not this few hundred century, I would say, that how this uh, uh, practice concept, especially the practice of force and abiding, become popular. Uh, I become important because it, in the Sutta, the Buddha did say that you know, after, before he become enlightenment in his past life, so he practiced this. Uh, he, but at that time, he, some text only mentioned loving kindness. He practiced this loving kindness meditation for seven years. Okay, and with that kind of the marriage, he had gained. So during the universe, I mean the galaxy, maybe I translate as a galaxy. During the time of the galaxy being dissolved, and then when it's the time of the evolve, so he will actually he, he born in a kind of the heaven. So it's kind of uh, implied that he can avoid that when the collapse of the uh, galaxy, but he can be born in other place that would not have to face this kind of problem. So like a very powerful. Imagine if the people have this kind of cosmic view, thinking the world, you know, maybe it would be collapsed one time. The whole galaxy, you know, would be maybe nowadays we say sucking maybe in a black hole, what? But then that time actually 
because he had spent seven years practice loving kindness meditation, then he can be kind of like avoid and be born in other planet. Not the planet, he said the word heaven, the Tian in Chinese. And after when he practiced, uh, after he stayed there, and then during the time he passed away, and then he can be reborn in other places also again, and then also be born to the uh, so-called Brahma world also. And he's, when he was born in, you know the Brahma world in, in, in the Buddhist concept, almost like uh, the Hindu, uh, the Indian general concept means the creator, the place of the creator. So and then the creator, and he was born in the creator, and he wasn't actually being born as like a, uh, uh, somebody under the creator. He was like a, one of the creator. So, and then uh, when he died, and he can be reborn here for seven life, and then when he died, he reborn back to the earth here, when the earth evolved. And uh, he was uh, for many times be uh, the, one of the powerful ruler. Okay. So, well, I mean, that's maybe, I think just to say, because he practiced seven years of loving kindness, have such a powerful merit, maybe a, to me, like an exaggerator, perhaps the Buddha had to, uh, not only that, it must be many other things. But anyway, that text very clearly say, because I practiced seven years, that helped him to let him have such a powerful kind of merit that he can be born in those heavens, avoiding the galaxy collapse. Okay. And then also when he back to the earth, uh, born in back to the earth here, and he become the ruler. So, and uh, so, and I th that's why I say if, if it, we understand this point, for whatever reason, just for a way, uh, maybe religious reason, or maybe just for uh, a kind of uh, encouraging, because of course, if you're Buddhist, you, you believe the Buddhist text say, okay? And uh, that's a, a very minimal thing. That all the, that's what the Buddha say, and clearly. And it's, as I say, it's not just only in Pali, you have in Chinese, you have in other recension also. So, it sounds like this is a, must be a, one of the popular uh, you know, idea. So, and uh, this is uh, actually is become, if, as I just mentioned, if this has become a kind of norm for people who are, like they come to the temple, there will be very, very big impact for the future Buddhism, right? I have a question. Yes. Maybe it's a little simple to ask you. Yes. Mm. Um, the intention of the merit seeker does that have anything to do, do you know what I mean? For example, there's, there's a dog got hit, hit by a car, and you're like, oh, I'll get a lot of merit if I help that dog. Or my intention is to help that dog regardless of whether I get merit. Is that intention, do you know what I mean? The intention you have to gain merit or just to do the thing is, you know what I mean? Who, I know, I know what you mean, but that's why I say, but there's a kind of Mahayana way of telling you, you should not think that way, because then you but it's interesting. I, I know what you mean, but I'm talking about now a Buddhist tradition now. The Buddhist tradition, if in Mahayana way would say, actually, if you think in that way, so you don't get good merit too. Okay, so then it's, so. then if you're thinking that way, it's understood that you're not thinking in the right way and your merits are canceled. No, 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 no. Uh, this is why I want to say it's very hard for, uh, because you are not brought up in this kind of culture, marriage. If you need, might be from a different culture, I'm not sure I can suddenly relate something. Perhaps like, you, like in English, you always say, that's God will. It would be a ticket. There's no question. Not that you believe or not believe. You just think, okay, that's God will. You know what I'm saying? There's a kind of word. Huh? That's a God's will, right? And you just take it. You, 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 even you don't believe it, uh, like you are not really believing God, whatever, but you still take it, that, right? That's what I'm saying. In the Buddhism, have this kind of idea. Uh, maybe I think it's maybe Indian people even they still have this same idea there. I don't know, but Buddhism had this idea, and this idea is kind of like become a, a, a very common. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, do this thing for 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 God's sake. Uh, then you will be fine, and they will do it because they think they will be somehow not there thinking it. They will just think, oh, okay, I'm doing good thing because God maybe loved me. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. Am I right? 
So, so it's seem something like that. But the merit is Buddhism do not think that, oh, because you do this, the Buddha loves you, and the Buddha appears, and Buddha will decide you, you were born here or not. It's not like that. It's the merit that makes you whether you will be, uh, whether you have this merit for you to de- do a good thing. Okay, yes. Yeah, um, mm. He said, uh, I think it's more like a skill for, te- uh, skill for uh, teaching. If you have, uh, even though someone may do mm. something for the sake of merit, okay, then of course they don't get as much merit as you do things without uh, this intention. It's like you cannot score 100, but you can score 50. Okay? So, uh, uh, so by doing something good, say for example, that you donate the money, uh, some, uh, some people may donate money mm. just uh, for the sake of donating because mm. it will benefit others, but somebody, as you said, they could uh, uh, wish into win a lottery. But this little bit of money still help some, some, some other people or whatever. So they don't get 100, but they may score 10. It's better than zero. <laughs> and then gradually, then you, know, then you accumulate a little bit more. Uh, by giving, actually, you practice the way of not self-centered, because that's the, our blockage to develop our wisdom. You know, so I gradually just loosen it up. This is, uh, this is what I want to say. This is the emphasis on in the more like a Western style. Because in the, from the West, they don't have the concept of merit. They don't like to say that. You can ask any Sri Lankan in the other countries. So when they're giving something, they know very well this is a merit. They do. It's not, certainly in the higher sense, you could say when I'm giving something and then I'm thinking, uh, is practiced like uh, masuria, like uh, I don't want to be a masuria, misery in English, uh, against my misery, right? Against my stinginess, it's true. This is a, more like a meditation, but for sure that people, you ask Thailand, Burma, Cambodian, and uh, I'm I'm not sure Tibetan. I guess the same, but they know this is merit. Uh, that's our uh, it, it is, yeah, because I mean, it's, uh, and mm, if that's the mm. only thing we have, then you use this to yeah, lead it, them into mm. a better way. Yeah, but I mean, there's a certainly understand that uh, when you do this marriage, you know, if you cling on this marriage, we all know it's wrong, okay? This is not a question. We all know it's wrong. But with marriage is a term just to describe, basically mean, that you be, have a good fruit, a good result, right, when you're doing it. You know, maybe, maybe use that as a term. Anyway, it's more than this, actually. It's also, it's the, the concept is, I'm sure that in, in, in if I do notice that uh, in America only, this is how I differentiate whether this American, uh, they have much more contact with the Buddhist culture. They will say, oh, many marriage when you do this. Like wisdom publication actually do. I forgot, when you donate money to wisdom publication, they give you a like, thank you kind of, uh, you know, wisdom publication. The, they do have this about marriage thing there, mentioned there. But the other maybe, maybe God bless you, I <laughs> think. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's a different. Okay, anyway, I would like to back to a little bit this. Uh, it's like, you know, so um, I think uh, my understanding is that uh, firstly, I want to say is that it's very encouraging that we know that we are not just, hey, oh no, at least to me, it means you are cultivate marriage, okay? So that's uh, one thing. And second is that maybe a more rational way of thinking why we cultivate marriage by practice is because, you know, we always know that you can be nice to people, but then when you, but you know, our physical actually, there's a limit in our physical to be nice to people. Like, you know, everybody sitting here, I don't even have time to say hi, 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 nice, and, and this, right? Maybe, yes, my smiling guest, you may say something. But at least, you know, how I actually make in contact with you and be nice to you, and so that I get the merit, okay? And, uh, <laughs> okay. I, I still need it. Mm, okay, okay. And uh, so that, again, because marriage is not limited to what you think about, be rich. <laughs> so it's uh, the thing. It is uh, 
that is the, uh, it's because when I do this loving kindness meditation or compassion meditation, I am actually making a contact with all people. Okay. So just imagine like, uh, it's, yeah, maybe it's a little abstract to a lot of things because we always been, can look at the thing through only our physical, right? So-called material. We are limit our view or limit our vision only in the material. But beyond the material, we, our mind actually can make the contact with the whole universe all the time, right? So of course, by this practice, there are many types of practice, but that's, I guess that's, I'd like to explain this way. That's why the Buddha say, or the, even the traditional belief that this is the, one of the best way to cultivate the merit. And so that you, you have so rich merit that you, even though when people die, they can be born to a very powerful place. And not just because it can be a powerful place, they can be uh, a powerful person. Understand? In other words, I mean, you're sitting here. I, I myself will not look, look at it that way at least. You might be, of course you're entitled to the way that you look. I'm talking about what the Buddhist text trying to tell us. Is that I'm sitting here beside, I'm cultivating something good in my mind, which is will help my virtue, of course, which is will help my, even maybe will help my liberation, enlightenment. But right now when I'm practicing this, still I'm not right now practicing anything about liberation, but this kind of cultivation, like I'm doing generosity to people. So I am cultivating this, is getting the marriage for me, you know, if I die, that's a reason, one of the reasons I don't worry that much. So that, oh, am I going to bad place? Where do I go? I don't worry because this cultivation will make me to understand that when I die, uh, I, if I die right now, okay. Uh, because I still have this nice mind with me. And in the past, I also practiced him in the past. Uh, so, and uh, if I die, I will be born in a good place. And I would be actually surpassing in a, just only good, but I would be, you know, have a great merit that, even though I'm not like a Buddha, but so then be born in a nice place, have a very nice life. Okay. Hello. Uh, I think there's something wrong with my English. Me? Yeah. Yes. Over here. Uh, where? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So I I understand your concept. So you say Buddha's. Um, Buddhism is the best way to create uh, merit, right? Uh, merit or marriage? I didn't say that, but that might be a good way to put that. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I think I yes. kind of uh. I kind of like connect with you because I think it's true. Mm. Because I understand your concept of if we create a better humanity, like mm. a better like if we all start to be better, like when we come back, mm. we'll be better. Yes. Yes. So if we start to tell that to the whole world, we'll create better generations, right? Yes. All right. Well, thank you. You see, he speaks few words more wiser than I, then he just solved the problem. Okay. All right. So, in other words, mean, uh, in other words, mean, uh, what? Okay. In other words, would mean I, <clears throat> in other words, mean actually, you are not just practice per se, like, you know, I have a good time. I have a wonderful time, right? Or my mind is happy, or I have my concentration. It's not that simple. So, you are doing something for your great merit. Okay, I just end here. So, only one person say yes, the other, <laughs> and there's another silence, agree. Anyway, so whether you, how you think or not, but I definitely uh, really happy, not because of what, because I think that I always want to see the goodness of the others. And this is also part of loving kindness, right? And then at least, uh, you are doing something that cultivate one of the great marriage in your life that for a very, very better for your future. Okay. So, all right. So, take, have 10 minutes break and then we can come back to do transfer marriage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Just a 10 minute break. I will see you later. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs>